How can you find theta if you're told that the cosine of theta is one half? That's positive one over two. The way that I solve problems like this is to draw myself the four quadrants. And then I remind myself of something I was taught called the cast rule, C-A-S-T, from the bottom right hand quadrant around will tell you which ratios are positive in which quadrants. Now, the cosine of whatever angle we're looking for here is positive. So I'm going to put my radial arms or whatever you want to call them, terminal arms, in the place where cosine is positive, that's C for cosine, and the place where they're all positive, that's A for all. S is sine and T is tan. Put another way, in this corner, you know, from negative or from 270 degrees to 360 degrees, cosine is positive, but sine is negative, and tan is also negative. These initials are telling you what's positive in that quadrant. A means all. They're all positive there. Anyways, where I'm going with that is that because you know cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, then your adjacent side has a length of one and your hypotenuse has a length of two. So what you're being asked for is the angle from zero degrees all the way around to either of these arms, terminal arms, where they extend one unit to the right of the origin with a line that's, or a line segment that is too long. And that's two as in the number two. So the question is, what angles are those? Well, most teachers will have you memorizing a special triangle or more than one special triangle, I guess. One of them is one, one, and root two, or some, um, or some similar triangle to that. Maybe it's uh, one and root two over two. That's the same triangle. That would mean that these are 45 degree angles. The special triangle I'm asking you to recall here is one, two, and root three. Your teacher may have taught that to you as one half root three over two and one. The point is, that between the side lengths that are one and two, the adjacent side of one and the hypotenuse of two is a 60 degree angle. There is a 30 degree angle in this triangle as well, and this one's 90, but you can see that this is this triangle here with a side length of one, a side length of two, a hypotenuse of two specifically, and a 90 degree angle in there as well. What that means is that this here is 60 degrees, and this here is also 60 degrees. So the values of theta that satisfy this equation are, well, this, which itself is 60 degrees, and whatever angle gets you to the same terminal arm that happens to be short of a full circle by 60 degrees. That's 360 degrees less 60, which is 300 degrees. This is a 300 degree angle from the positive x-axis around to that line, which happens to extend one unit right of the origin with a line segment of two. Anyways, the point is, how do you solve these kinds of equations? I draw two terminal arms wherever the cast rule, C-A-S-T, says that my trig ratios are the proper sign. Here I wanted cos to be positive, so I put it in the C quadrant and the A quadrant. Then I labeled my side lengths according to what I had here, tried to find a special triangle that actually corresponded to that side, or those side lengths. If uh, if it wasn't one of these special angles that you may have been taught, you could just use a calculator, right? Um, and then your last bit is to figure out 
how large the angles are that actually lead your terminal arms to land where they do. Hope that made sense. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.